He's the man shoplifters hate and supermarkets love. A professional thief catcher who busts dozens of people every day. Now he's teamed up with A Current Affair to show you how bad the problem has become. What are you stealing, man? Got anything else in here you haven't paid for? Excuse me, madam. What do you think you're doing? This is what they call a professional shoplifter's jacket. Hello, love. Have you got money to pay for that shit in your pants? Have all extra bags in there. All right, let's go. I got a mail down in aisle seven. I've never seen so many people get so many frights in my life. Hey, you mate, you're under arrest for stealing. While it might just be small items being swiped off those shelves, it all adds up. Every year, shoplifting costs Australian retailers more than seven and a half billion dollars. And our cameras are rolling as they get caught in the act. I've been here for the, probably the last 35 hours and got over 40 shoplifters. From teenagers... Oh, I'm sorry, man. That's all right, bro. Everyone makes mistakes. To mums, public servants on their lunch break, even those with more than enough money to pay for what they're brazenly stealing. It's like playing cards with $50 notes. Shane is a professional thief catcher. While you're grabbing your weekly groceries, he's on the lookout for shoplifters. So what sort of behaviour do you look for when you're looking at aisles like this? Shoplifters cannot help but look around first. Anyone's going to do something wrong, they're going to look to see who's around watching them. Excuse me, madam. And it's not long before Shane has a target in sight. Doing shoplifting. She's taken to an office for questioning. Just stand over here, please. Oh, sorry. How are you doing? Just, yeah. just for people, yes, please. Yes, well, why not pay the first time? She's paid for one bag of bananas and hidden a whopping $95 worth of other groceries in her trolley. She's unwilling to answer Shane's question, so the police are called. You've got to understand, OK? Excuse me, just... No. you got to understand these guys are super fun, deal with this every day. Not, not pay for all things and just, you know, just pay for that. We'll put it on it. All right, you're under arrest. It's not long before another woman is spotted by Shane. Yeah. You want to go home? Love, you could be going to jail today. Shoplifting is a massive problem. I know, I know. Oh my God. She's been caught stealing $30 worth of groceries. Can you get away with it? I just felt dreadful. Have you done it before? Mm-hmm. How many times do you reckon you've I don't know. I really don't know. She's also issued with a summons to appear before a magistrate for theft. Just stop. I just hope this is a big enough wake-up call. Uh, yeah. It's only a matter of minutes before Shane spots another woman putting an item into her handbag. Hey, you got money? You got money to pay for it? Just get back and pay for it. She's a well-dressed office worker, clearly stunned oh. she's been caught out. You want a drink of water or anything? You feel all right? I wouldn't be feeling all right too if you got caught shoplifting. She's taken a bottle of Coke and a chocolate bar. Is that it? Yeah. That's rubbish. What are you doing it for then? I don't know. I think the identity of the shoplifter will, will surprise you. It's across the community. Eric Honduras is the managing director of Superbarn. He says shoplifters make it more expensive for the rest of their customers. If we could save that money, we could pass it on to our customers and have cheaper prices. CCTV cameras certainly catch shoplifters in the act, but usually they're long gone before security is alerted. Shane operates on the ground level, spotting them with his own eyes. What are you stealing, man? What are you stealing? Down here. You got money to pay for that? Uh, a little bit. Right, I've just got it in. Um, what do you got down the front? Just leave your shirt on. Just place on the table what you haven't paid for. It's got to stop, you know what I mean? You seem like a decent bloke. I know, I honestly don't know why. It's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing, mate. It's quite stealing. Shane also has his eye on much bigger fish, because more sophisticated shoplifters who come prepared. That's what they call the jacket. They sew the sleeves up on the jacket and use it like a bag. This lady has been jacket. stopped leaving the store with this jacket over her arm. Oh my God. It's full of groceries, $70 worth of stuff, and unbelievably her wallet is bulging with money which she could have used to pay for it. 
why do you steal if you have this much money to pay for it? Yeah, I don't know, because I just, I don't know. She's issued a summons and escorted off the premises by police. The only thing they understand is getting caught, getting locked up and facing the magistrate. Shane reckons he can spot shoplifters like cars on the road, and at this rate he has a point. What are you doing, bro? What do you mean, what am I doing? What do you mean, what you're doing? What you're doing is stealing. This 15-year-old has put a drink and a packet of batteries down his pants. Everything you haven't paid for, just put on that table. Hey, that table there. What are you stealing from? Instead of calling the police, Shane decides to see what Dad thinks. What we should be doing is locking him up because he's had enough chances. Or you can come down to the supermarket and you can fix his problem once and for all. He's off. He's Dad is angry and he's on his way to the store. Meantime, another woman has been spotted on the floor swiping products from the health and beauty aisle. Hello, love. Hello. How are you? What do you think you're doing? You got stuff in there you forgot to pay for? She's also clearly intoxicated. That's poor. Yeah. How much drink you had today? Enough. Enough. Eva admits to taking the hair products, but Shane also believes the goods in her trolley may have been stolen from another store. You have no right to, to retain me. Why don't I? Because you are not a police officer. Loss prevention officer. That, I was a loss prevention officer. <laughs> While he waits for the police, she becomes more and more agitated. I had no rights to hold anyone. That's, well, you're up for it, mate. I'm taking my possessions and no, I'm leaving. Well, at the moment you can't go anywhere. You know, just... I've done the same dumbass course you have, mate. Well, you mustn't have got too far because you're not a very good shot with her. Well, that's debatable. Eva is taken away by police. Turns out half the stuff in her trolley had also been stolen. She'll now have to front a magistrate and has been banned from the Superbarn store. Hey, hello, love. Hello. You got money to pay for that? Your pants? Hayley has been busted with seafood stuffed down her pants. She claims she doesn't have enough money to eat, but there is more than a hundred dollars in her pocket and hundreds of needles in her bag. So we frown upon people shoplifting. The honest people out there are paying. Well, how long am I going to be? Because I'm supposed to be going to meet my I don't give a shit how long you're going to be. The bottom line is, if you weren't doing this disgusting habit, you wouldn't be doing this sort of stuff. Shane was going to let her go with a warning, but a warrant check reveals police want to speak with her. And remember our teenage thief? Well, his dad has just arrived and he's not happy. You're going to end up stuffing your whole life up, mate. What, just for a couple of drinks or some batteries, lollies, or, you know, batteries. batteries, this, that? Huh? You don't need to do it, mate. It's enough of a scolding to reduce him to tears. Shane decides not to press charges, but he will be banned from the store. This is your last chance, mate. This is a big time. Next time it's, like I said, juvenile detention centres. You don't want to go there. Let's hope he listens to that advice. Come into our store and start shoplifting. We're going to catch you. We don't catch you today. We don't catch you tomorrow. We'll eventually catch you. Well, too, they're sad stories, aren't they? But shoplifting is costing retail millions of dollars. You can see it from their point of view. All right, now the cruel scam that's hit one of Australia's best-known theme parks. Three days ago, Dirk the Penguin was kidnapped from SeaWorld. Fortunately, he's been found alive.